Hi guys, what's up? My name is Lisa and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are talking about gap year ideas. Now, if you've never heard of a gap year, it's basically a year where you decide to take a gap between studying and going to higher education. So it can be either between going to high school and then going to college, or it could also be after college. Really, you can take a gap year whenever you feel like it. It's almost a similar thing to people that are already working or taking a sabbatical. So basically just a year of travel or developing themselves or anything else. So basically just anything that is different from their normal lifestyle. And today I'm sharing with you 25 ideas on what you can do on your gap year. So let's be honest, this past year has been difficult for almost everybody and a lot of us are craving adventure, change, something new, something break from the ordinary and I think a gap year would be a great idea to consider if you want to do this. So if you are looking into doing a gap year, just keep watching this video and let's start about all these ideas. Okay, so my first idea is to go backpacking in Southeast Asia. Now this is something that's great for young adults or students who don't really have a lot of money to spend but do want to travel for an extended period of time because Southeast Asia is so cheap and you can get a lot further with your US dollar or your euro than you can with local currency over there. So it's definitely something to consider if you want to go to Southeast Asia because it's a lot cheaper than most of the Western world to travel to. Now my second thing is something that I highly recommend every young adult in Europe or anywhere in the world really, but especially if you're living in Europe, to do is to go interrailing. Now interrailing is basically a train travel, so you can travel from anywhere in Europe by train and you can pick a different amount of days that you want to travel on your train and then you can obviously, the days that you're not traveling, you can just spend in the countries, but I highly recommend that you look up some videos or do some research on where you can go because honestly there's such a good network in Europe of train travel so you can definitely do it and I know it can be a little bit expensive to buy the pass but if you have to figure out all these different trains yourself it can be also difficult so definitely do your research and decide what's best for you whether you buy the interrail pass or you just go train traveling yourself around Europe. Number three is to go volunteer at a animal shelter. Now I definitely recommend going volunteering at an animal shelter over like working with kids because if you're not there for an extended period of time it's definitely important to not build up that connection with the kids and then leave two weeks later. So with animals it's a little bit different, obviously they have feelings too but it's a little bit different than with humans. So just go volunteer at an animal shelter, you can do this locally or you can go to somewhere like Africa, Costa Rica, there's a lot of places all over the world where you can go volunteer and you can do so many different things. Uh, or work with so many different animals all around the world. Number four is something that if you are a native speaker of English or really good at speaking a uh, the English language, then you can go and teach English in Asia. You will most likely have to do like a test if you're not a native speaker. So it's called the TOEFL test or IELTS test. And based on that, you will get your level of English graded and then you can go and work as a teacher in Southeast Asia or anywhere in Asia really, you will most likely get paid for this so it's also a nice way to earn some money that then can allow you to either travel later in your gap year or just have as a little bit of savings for when you are done with your year abroad. Number five, if you are not fluent in a second language, I highly recommend you to go and learn a second language. This is actually what I did. I went to the United States and learned a lot of English while being at a school, but you can also learn other languages like Spanish or Dutch or anything really that maybe has to do something with your heritage. If you're Norwegian or something, you can learn Norwegian for a year and really get to connect with that side of your family as well. So yeah, it's just anything that you can learn. There's a lot of different schools. Um, if you are living in Belgium, I really highly recommend WEP. That's the program that I went with to go to the United States, but they also have like language specific things. And number six kind of ties into what I did as well, and that is to actually do like a full study abroad. So you can decide to either go for one year and learn your English in an English school, um, or you can go to like United States and study at high school again um, if you want to have like that American experience or anything like that. Or you can also start a college program somewhere abroad if you are interested in learning, especially if you are from Europe, you can learn in any school in all over Europe and it really will cost you almost the same amount. So it's something that I definitely recommend you do. If you want to stay comfortable, you can go to like Ireland and learn English or you can also go to a different country and 
and follow an English program because most universities all around Europe will have at least one or two English programs. So just do your research on what you're interested in and what you want to learn. Number seven is to do a working holiday visa. So this is something that is available in a lot of different countries. I know for sure you can do it in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, but there's also a lot of European countries that you can do it. And now I don't know specifically which ones, but I will try and either link um, some resources down below if I find some resources where you can do a working holiday visa. Number eight is to learn a new skill. So maybe you have always wanted to learn how to do sewing or you want to learn how to do photography, but you haven't had the chance to put a lot of time and effort in it. Now on your gap year, you will have plenty of time to read books, do YouTube tutorials, or if you want to invest in courses, you can look at Skillshare or or any of these other platforms that are offering classes as well. So whatever you want to learn, I know there is some resources out there, either free or paid, whatever you are looking for. Something else that I really want to do one day is to go and live abroad for like an extended period of time in a warmer climate because I really love the sun, but you can do this anywhere in the world really. Um, but I would love to maybe live in Mexico for a couple of months and not really travel around, but really endorse the lifestyle of that area and just be there and immerse myself in the local culture and really be there for an extended period of time to really connect with the country and get to know people there. But if you are more of a snowy person, you can become a ski instructor, work at ski huts or anything similar like this. Um, you can also do just like a snowy adventure of going to like the Nordic countries for a couple of weeks. Really, there's so many different things that you can do and being a ski instructor it sounds so much fun. One of my good friends is a ski instructor and she always did this in high school. She went to like either Switzerland or Italy or somewhere like that. And, and she would teach other kids how to ski. So if you already know how to ski, then you can definitely do this. Another thing that I think would be so much fun is to go like on one of these epic road trips. If I'm thinking epic road trips, I'm thinking like Germany, drive through like all of Germany, not just go to Berlin, but really explore the countryside of Germany. Or I also think about Route 66, or there's so many different routes that you can take all around the world. Um, that are really iconic drives and it could be so much fun to do those with friends or solo or anything like that. Now it's also really important for you to know that you don't always have to travel on your gap year. You could also start working at a local cafe and do something that maybe you wouldn't want it to do for like the rest of your life, but you want to give it a try for a year and see how it goes. So maybe start working in a local cafe, or if you want to, you can move to a different city and start working there. It really depends on what you want to do, but I think it would be so much fun to become like a barista and learn how to make all these cool coffees and everything like that. Now, if you really love travel and you want to make it something sustainable, maybe it will be interesting to start working on some digital nomad skills. Now, what do I mean with this? You can either do like an internship to learn how to do all of these different tasks that it takes to be a digital nomad. So that can be uh, work in social media management, or you could also help uh, with some accounting work and try and figure out if you can make a living off of that or become like a personal assistant, maybe first in person so you can build up your skills and then maybe you can look into doing it online and try to sustain your lifestyle so that in the future you can learn how to travel and maybe it will be good to take some courses like Google SEO or anything like that to really grow your strategy and become a better digital nomad in the future. Or if you just want to build on your skills that you are already having, you can do an internship at any company really and learn some skills which will help your career in the future as well. Number 15 is if you love working with kids, you can become an au pair. So an au pair is kind of like an advanced babysit, I would say. So you would live with that family for an extended period of time, so six months or maybe a whole year, and you can really explore the local area, but during the day, um, you take care of some of the household tasks and also you maybe go pick up the kids from school or you have to play with them or make them dinner or anything that really um, gets agreed with your hosts. So this is something that you can definitely do if you want to explore a different country and be there for a longer period of time, work with kids and also develop some of those skills. Another thing that you can do is to go wee-woofing or workaways. So these are two platforms where you can 
basically get a stay in return of some hours of work so you will either do some farm work some household work it really depends on what they are looking for and what you want to do and in return of a couple of hours of work each day you get to stay there for free sometimes your food is also included and you can travel the local area on the weekends or really just explore it during the evenings it depends on what you want to do so the next thing is to do Camp America or Camp Canada. This is where during the summer holidays you go and work at these camps where kids come from all over Canada or all over the US and you become a camp counselor. It's so much fun to do. I haven't done Camp America or Camp Canada but I am a volunteer here in Belgium on youth trips as well so it is definitely a similar experience only for a shorter period of time but I highly recommend if you love working with kids that you do something like camp counseling. Also if you really love travel and you want to work with a lot of adults and a lot of people from your similar age group you can become a tour guide so you can do this with some programs like Contiki or um, I think also EF maybe or some other programs where you can become a tour operator or a tour guide for a specific tour in Europe or anywhere else in the world so it really depends on where you're from maybe what you know already if you are an avid Europe traveler then you can definitely do something maybe in Europe and become like a local guide and explore your local area a little bit more and show other people what it's like to live in your area. Another thing that I highly recommend people to do is if they want to start a business why not try it right out of high school or right after college. Take your time and try to become an entrepreneur. If it fails so what you have tried it but if it succeeds then you have taken this opportunity that maybe in another year you wouldn't have taken and you can really work on your skills and develop your business and if you're not making many profits in the first year that's okay but at least you've gave it a shot and you can start growing your business so it's definitely something that I recommend you do and try and take the leap and you never know where you can end up at. Another fun thing to do if you want to explore multiple countries but you also want to earn a little bit of money and start working then you can become a cruise ship employee so you can work on a cruise ship and depending on which route it's taking you can explore the countries as well I think um, definitely if you are like a tour guide on the cruise ship but also if you are just working in uh, hospitality on the cruise ship I think you will also have a couple of days where you can leave the ship and also start exploring the local area. Another way that you can start volunteering and doing a longer program abroad is by volunteering at the European Solidarity Corps. Now this is something that's only available for European citizens but basically what it means is that you go and work in another European country as a volunteer and you develop your skills and you get your accommodation for free and I think also your food so it really depends on where you're going but you can discover one of these countries that is maybe less traveled to like Romania or I don't know Bulgaria maybe you can travel a lot deeper in the country and really explore what it is like to live in one of those countries and I think there's also an American like alternative to this and that is like the Peace Corps I think it's what it's called so you can also do your research on that and try and figure out what you want to do if you want to be a volunteer and you want to work through a program that is like well known and well established rather than just picking another volunteer program because you don't really know always what their intentions are and what the program will really be like. And then another thing that you can do that is not travel related is to work on your health and fitness. So I know it can get really busy sometimes with your work or your school or anything else and fitness can get like a little bit left behind. So if you want to work on it and become a healthier person then maybe during your gap year you can do this. You can take some cooking courses or you can discover the paths of veganism or vegetarian. Anything really that you want to try you can do during your year and you can try and become a little bit healthier, start working out, maybe you'll fall in love with a new sport, start dancing, I don't know, whatever it is that you want to do when working on your fitness you can do during your gap year. Number 23 is to really go deep into one country so something that I've always wanted to do is travel multiple months through one country so that you really get to experience what the country is like so this can be either going to like a Central America or maybe South America or really anywhere in the world you can go and you can try and travel around for multiple weeks, multiple months and really get to know the country on a deeper level. So some of the countries that I highly recommend doing this in are Colombia, obviously you have to be a little bit safe and it maybe it's not good as your first time travel experience but if you have some experience Colombia is definitely a recommendation. You can do it in Mexico, you can also pick any European country that is a little bit bigger so like Spain, Germany um, or maybe go through the Nordic countries, anything like that. 
you can do Thailand or Indonesia or also Australia or New Zealand are great for this where you can really explore the country for multiple weeks and not get bored. Number 24, we're almost at the end, is to work on yourself. So I know this can be something that's maybe a little bit strange, you're like, why would I do that on my gap year? But it's so important for you to work on your own skills and work on becoming more okay with who you are as a person. So this can be anything from doing some yoga, meditation, learn to live by yourself, be on your own company, enjoy your own company, anything like that it can be something that you do during your gap year and it's so important because you will grow so much from it. And then my last one is to discover less traveled countries. So this can be anything from like Eastern Europe because I know for Europeans we like to stick to the West sometimes. Um, but really go and explore these countries that maybe weren't on your bucket list in the first place But you can be so surprised by some beautiful countries uh, For me personally, I've been to Albania and that was like a country that before I never thought about going But then I went on a cruise ship and I explored the country a little bit and I was so amazed by its beauty and how gorgeous it was It's definitely somewhere that I want to explore more of but there's so many other countries in the world that maybe are not on your number one bucket list but they can surprise you so much so I highly recommend you visit them during your gap year because you will have plenty of time to do so. So I hope you guys got inspired by all of these ideas and if you are planning on doing a gap year make sure to leave in the comments down below what your general plan is or if you have no idea yet I hope this video inspired you a little bit more and got, gave you some ideas on what you can do. If you want to learn more about how you can start saving, preparing and planning for your next adventure make sure to subscribe to this channel and I post videos every week. See you next week.